Hey, Tracking Pat here, and today I'm in the factory working on the Prototrack RLX 1845, but what I'm about to show you would be true of any of the RLX controls. And uh, what I want to talk about is a new feature that we came out with our last uh, software edition, which is the ability to automatically do tapered threads such as pipe threads, whether they're British or standard. Okay, and so normally what would happen, as you know, is I would go to cut a thread, and when I select thread, it's going to ask me to start filling in the thread. Now, the standard thread cycle only figures 60 degree standard thread types, so therefore it asks about the major diameter, it calculates the minor diameter automatically, asks for your lengths, your feeds and speeds, stuff like that. It used to be that when you go to the options page, you could change that standard to custom. And if I go to cut, whoops, I missed there, custom. And when I go to custom threads, the only difference here is that I can control the minor diameter. So now if I'm doing Acme threads or buttress threads or some sort of a custom thread and I need to control the minor, it won't be automatic so I can have more flexibility on how to do those kinds of threads. But in this particular case, what I want to show you is the addition that we added. So in the same drop-down window, you'll see that it says NPT threads and BSPT threads, which is British or standard, right? So if I wanted to cut a tapered thread, I would go to my standards, and then you'll notice in here I have the choice of either small or large threads, and then I can also call up the thread by actually which one it is, right? So right here I've got highlighted a half 14 thread type, and when I close the window, you'll see in red that it automatically filled in more than half the values. Okay, so here I am in the event now, and you'll notice in red that it's filled in more than half of the values, and it's asking me to fill in the rest. So basically, it knows where the thread starts at the beginning for the major diameter and the minor. It knows where the major diameter is at the end of the taper, and it knows how long it has to move. Therefore, all those dimensions are in incremental so that no matter where I put my Z beginning, it will travel down to that point and still cut the same thread. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in here that I want to go to a rapid of 100 thousandths away from the part. I want to start the thread at zero, and then I'm going to come down here, tell it I want five roughing passes, one finished pass. I'm cutting automatically at a 29 and a half degree angle, so I don't have to adjust that. I can do inside or outside threads, but this is an outside thread. I can do multi-lead threads, although I've never seen one in an NPT, so it should usually be just one lead. And then it's going to try to calculate an RPM, but I'm going to run it much faster. So I'm going to put it at 500 RPM, use tool number two. And when I finish on the screen, you can see that the thread is right here on the piece part. Now to make this a little bit easier, I actually programmed a cycle event to cut this piece of aluminum down to the size of what my normal pipe would be so that I can thread it. But one thing I did want to point out about that, if I had to cut something to be the correct taper to make a thread like this, the great part is that event is showing me all the numbers I need to create my cycle. So when I take those numbers, I just take a snapshot with my camera and then I start at the beginning of my cycle telling it where to start and I use those exact same numbers to create my cycle to cut it to the right size. And then the last thing I'm going to do is actually cut the thread itself. Now I've already got the part itself done, so all I have left to do is to actually make the piece part. Okay, but keep in mind that when you do this, you're gonna have to go to your tool table and you're gonna have to select which one of these tools is doing the threading. Okay, whoops, looks like I missed. Two, there we go. Sometimes it's hard to see with the glare in the way in the camera, okay? So when I get done there, I can go to setup mode and I can look at this and it should show me my path here on how it's going to do that. I can see my passes here for the threading and if I want to get real fancy, I can even go into here and I can look at the piece part. I want to hit verify part, it'll show not only the machining part of this, then it'll show the threading. Okay, so I know I've got everything in the right place. It's going to do exactly what I need to do. So I can exit out of here, just go to the run mode and cut the thread. Just give me one second, I'm going to get the camera set up and then we'll show you cutting the thread as well.
Okay, so as you can see, it's actually very, very simple in the Prototrack RX to cut a tapered thread. So next time that you have to do this and someone's wondering whether or not their machine can do it, as long as you've got the software of 2.7.0 or later, then the answer is absolutely you can. Okay, I hope this helps you and you know how to use it. If you have any questions, reach out to your local track rep. He's always your best uh, first defense, I would say. But you can always talk to me on YouTube or even call the factory and ask to talk to that tracking pack guy. If I'm here, I'll answer the phone. Always good to show you new things. Can't wait to see you in the next video. As always, keep on tracking.